Hi, Pastor Billy Burke here. I'm just so happy to be here with you on this day before Thanksgiving Day. You know, and I, I don't know where this is finding you, my friend, my partner. I don't know what circumstance you're in. I don't mean what state or what country, but what's your set of circumstances. One thing we're sure, and that is circumstances are ever-changing. And that's why we anchor to the rock that doesn't move. God said, well, I'm the Lord thy God, and I change not. He said, I'm the same yesterday. Today. I'm the same yesterday. I'm the same today. I'm the same forever. That's stability. That's what we hold on to in these times of, no, well, there's no stability, instability. But I don't want you to look at where you're at and thinking, oh, this is horrible. And I thought I'd be in a better place. We all do in different times of our lives, in different holidays. You know, being not in the right place is a reminder that this isn't heaven yet. This isn't the new earth yet. You know, we're still pilgriming through all this. I mean, not just the pandemic and the shutdown and the election and all of that, but I mean, just the overall plan of God. Uh, we, we hit moments where it's so clear. And then we think, what's God doing? And we go through these changes. You know, and, and that's why we walk by faith. We trust. You know, whenever we pray and get what we want, we thank Him. Whenever we pray and don't get what we want, we trust Him. And I want you to do that today. I want you to, if, if you have to celebrate Thanksgiving by faith, if you have to say, I'm going to trust him, that's amazing. Not everybody can do that. And when you don't trust him, you get into moaning and groaning and remorse and 20 years ago was better and these are terrible times. These are not terrible times. These are prophetic times. And God's wanting you to shine bright in spite of maybe where you're at, health-wise, money-wise, marriage-wise. Who knows where this finds you this holiday season. For sometimes it's chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Other seasons in your life, it's just an open fire, no chestnuts. You know, learn to flow with what God's doing in you now, but learn, learn to make that decision. I am not ever gonna quit. What the Hebrew children say, our God will deliver us from that fiery furnace. But if not, we still won't bow. I salute our president for not conceding. I'm not conceding either. There may be a new president and he may sit in the White House, but I'll never give in to his thinking, his policies. I'll support the office, never the man, because we support another person, G-O-D, J-E-S-U-S. -S. We must learn to walk in both of these worlds, the natural and the supernatural at the same time. I know you will. And I know that whatever God's working in your life, you know, one of the reasons you can't quit because it isn't over and he isn't finished yet. With the United States, with the world, with the church, nor with you. It's still in motion, it's still very fluid. So let's wait and see, let's hold back maybe some really things that we'd like to say that we shouldn't, things we'd like to think but we shouldn't. God has a way of shocking all of us. It's called the third day. You know what I mean by the third day? Or the first day of the week when they went to a grave and it was empty? And they knew then, wow, it isn't over when it looks like it's over. That's the same thing right now. God, your God, my God, he's up to something really, really good, and you are involved in it. Not just on a global scale, not just on a voting scale, on a personal scale, you, in your life, in your family, and where you work and all that you're dealing with. He's involved in that. 
And I believe, if I'm hearing correctly, it's about to change for the better. So get ready to have a really great day tomorrow based on futuristic movement of the Holy Spirit in your life. He's working it all. He's not working some of it. He's not using your childhood or just this five years of good marriage. No, he's, he's working it all together. He puts it all into the soup, puts his touch, stirs it, and it's really, really good. Coming your way, the end of 2020 and the beginning of 2021 and all of 2021. Come on, celebrate. Your God is God. He is on that chair up there, releasing his wonder-working power down here. Yield to it today. Shift today. Get out of whatever you were in. Guard your mouth. Capture your thoughts and say, I am going to trust the Lord with everything that I have and all that I hope to be. That's your word for today. Hope you have a great and wonderful day tomorrow through the weekend. There'll be no word for today on Friday. We're going to leave celebration of Thanksgiving carryover. I'll see you on Saturday night for a great healing service on Facebook Live or YouTube. I'll see you again here on Monday for another Your Word for Today. So until I see you again on those services Saturday night and Monday, God bless you. Happy Thanksgiving from this ministry, my family, to you. Have a great day, a great weekend. God bless you. Oh, Mark 10, 27, it works for the holidays too. What is that? With God, all things are possible. Call the prayer line, get that prayer, sow the seed, help us stay strong. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.